visitors from the port. Good morning. I, uh, I seem to have run afoul of the security dogs. Ah, well, the, uh, the, uh, the pink water, the pink water is about 20 kilometers in that direction. I highly recommend it. It is magnificent. Okay. Have a good day. Well, I have lucked out and picked a cool day in which to travel through the Ukrainian countryside. Hi, I'm Matt and welcome to this edition of Borders on Budgets. On this episode, we are going to travel from the village of Prigorivka to a campsite along the Black Sea. Long distance hikes! But having a monkey steal from my camera bag. A kayak with an inexperienced kayaker. Borders on budgets. <laughs> the joys of independent travel in a country where English is a challenge at the best of times. So, uh, here's my ride to the next town. <laughs> While I'm grateful for the ride, and believe me I am, uh, I was really looking forward to, uh, to taking a, uh, a mush route through, the, uh, through this uh, rural part of the country. As Sasha explained, this is a 1986 Lada. Better ride than I thought. Talking of Ladas, there are a whole lot of Ladas here at the Autostancia in uh, Chaplinka. Well, that unexpected ride from uh, Hihor Ivka saved me about a five hour wait at that bus stop. And so from the Autostancia in uh, Chaplinka, the next stop will be the village, or the city, the port city, of Skadovsk. Well, what, what did I say about the, uh, the joys of independent travel in a country where uh, English can be a challenge? Uh, no buses to Skadovsk. So now I've got a uh, trip to Novakakhovka, and then hopefully to uh, Skadovsk. Yeah, 10 kilometers to go. <laughs> Nova Chachovka. All right, uh, that was only an hour uh, out of my way, so I can't complain. What I can complain about, though, is uh, it should be a, a crime that these uh, mushroom, mushrooms, these minibuses, don't have their windows that can roll up or down. And uh, if there's no air circulation, uh, this is a sauna. Skadovs, please. <laughs> No, a whole bunch of change for my 200. Okay, thank you. Skadovsk will be uh, 114 hryvna, or about uh, five dollars, and I leave here from another hour. I've uh, I've seen some clunker buses, but uh, this one might take the cake. You know, with a little practice, you can get used to the uh, Cyrillic alphabet. This is uh, Kachovka to Skadovsk. A little lumpy bumpy on this two-lane road. I wonder how to say no shoulder in Ukrainian. Ride of a hundred 
kilometers to the Avtostansia in Sk Skavotsk. Uh, that only took uh, 80 minutes. Oh, cool. Check this out at the bus station. An old map from the Soviet Union. So we know this wall decor is at least 30 years old because it has the initials of USSR from the Soviet Union and we will use this schematic map to describe where we've been today. We started the day in Gregorivka, which is the English pronunciation. Then the hitched ride was to Chapluka. The detour of an hour to Nova Kachovka, back down to Ska Skavotsk, and then we're going to take the short ferry ride to the national park on the island of Jarohach. I think that the best in this area is Jarohach Island. So, welcome to the Ja Island. <laughs> Hi. Well, the beach at Skadovsk is uh, much busier than I anticipated, even if this is a Friday afternoon, obviously before a weekend. And this is why I don't venture into uh, uncharted waters. Boy, there are a lot of jellyfish near the shore. I hope these guys aren't related to the venomous man o' war. Okay, ticket purchased. It costs 200 grivna or uh, $8 for the round trip from Skadovsk to the tip of Jarlach Island, which is Mayak. And uh, this Ukrainian Maldives. And that's the signal for me to start this stand up, and I'll do it before the uh, wind picks up. Jarlach Island, the national park is the largest island in the Black Sea with an area of 100 square kilometers. I've bought my ticket for a weekend of camping and with some luck, I'll encounter some wildlife during some hiking. We can't be too far afield. There's one of the campsites on Jarlach Island. Mayak in Ukrainian means lighthouse. I've been told that the better and the quieter campsite was one and a half kilometers from the port. As, uh, as my newfound friends are determining where the campsite will be, from the tip of Jarl Hatch Island, this is where we'll sign off for this episode. A reminder, borders on budgets. Local this people, the, uh, natural sounds, not a lot Relieved of money. Off. From the National Park of Jarl Hatch Island, thank you for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. After the extra, I'll show you where the campsite will be. And uh, they've got stop in English. Oh, okay. Well, he didn't stop. And the crossing looks safe. Okay, not bad. Twelve hours ago, we were getting that unexpected ride out of Grieger Ivka, and now we find ourselves at the tip of Jarlhach Island National Park. Thanks for sharing with me this entire adventure. If you've been this far, you must have liked the stories. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. All support for Borders on Budgets is much appreciated. And that includes sharing this video with your friends.